And right now, the Bibb County Sheriff's Office is gearing up for the new hands-free driving law that goes into effect on July 1st. Our morning reporter, Wanye Reese, joins us live in Macon to tell us how officers plan on enforcing this new law. Good morning, Wanye. Good morning, Caitlin and Carly. We are less than a week from this hands-free driving law starting up all across this, all across the state of Georgia. And the Bibb County Sheriff's Office says that the law is really going to change the way people drive here in Macon. You can see signs like these across central Georgia warning drivers the new hands-free law is taking effect. But Brenda Howard says the law was long overdue. I think it's, I think it's the best thing they've ever done. Everybody should have hands-free device and not try to text and drive at the same time. I don't see how they can do it. One Bibb County Sheriff Captain agrees. Brad Wolf, head of the traffic division, says the current texting and driving laws simply aren't cutting it. It is an issue in making texting and driving. Of course, we see it a lot more when we're in our personal vehicles. A lot of times being in a marked patrol unit, people will see that and they, they behave a little bit better so we don't see it quite as often when we're on duty working. In 2017 the sheriff's office issued about 26 tickets for texting and driving. This year 17. Wolf says the number is low because people put their phones down when they see the police but with the new law he says things are going to change. The law the way it's written if you're holding the phone that's good enough that's it that's all you got to be doing you don't have to be doing anything else. You don't have to be texting or trying to make a phone call or anything. Wolf Hold says it. officers will determine whether to write a ticket and officers will be trained all this week on the new law. Wolf hopes this law gets people to refocus on the road. It's natural to be distracted by your phone, so it's really important to have some legislation, regulation to keep people from trying to multitask and drive and operate the phone at the same time. That's just too much, too much distraction. Now, Wolf says the sheriff's office will have a 30 day grace period where they'll issue only warnings, but says officers will be out in full force July 1st, making sure drivers are following the law. Now, Caitlin and Carly, if you don't have a Bluetooth inside of your vehicle, one of the best things that you can do is get an adhesive device that you could either attach to your windshield out on the inside and something that you can maybe attach to your radio so that you can put your phone on there. And the simplest thing that you can do, you all at home, if you're driving, just put your phone down so you do not get a ticket once this law starts up this Sunday. Live in Macon, Wanya Reese, 13 WMAZ News. Thank you, Wanya. Good tips there. For the first offense, it'll cost you $50 and one point on your license. And if you get pulled over again, the fine and the points only go up from there.